We have the lovely sound of tree work in the background. Sounds of the season. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Planting trees is more quiet usually than, uh, than tree work, but they're removing some, uh, some dead wood from an amazing Monterey pine across the street mm -hmm. on the west side of Monteverde. So anyway, the 21st. Special uh, guest today. Wonderful special guest, one of our, everyone's favorite, uh, Cleve Waters. Um, thank you for joining us. The head of facilities, uh, recent uh, adductee, newest member of the Carmel by the Sea Rotary Club. Thank you, thank you for joining our club. Someone else is right around the corner, hopefully. If I get and, to be uh, in a club with this guy, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Yeah, the WC Fields. I don't want to be in any club that wants me as a member. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a good club, uh, and we do a lot of good work. So just real quickly, I wanted to uh, welcome Cleve, of course. Um, thank uh, our staff and the Carmel Host Lions Club for Breakfast with the Bunny last week. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I came with uh, Dorothy and Carolyn. We had a great time. Good pancakes. Actually, it was two weeks ago now, man. Easter. Easter weekend. Yes, two weeks ago. So thank you. Thank you uh, to, uh, to Nick Nicholson and, and, and the team who put on a great, uh, a great breakfast and everyone who participated. Leslie Fenton, obviously, uh, always doing a lot of heavy lifting. So thank you. We'll talk more about the, um, the May agenda. It will be a, a two punch. It'll be Monday the 1st and Tuesday the 2nd for a regular meeting. We'll have a little closed session on Monday the 1st. So, and that's basically what I have. Okay. Um, uh, we, we, got, we got some fun stuff coming up this weekend. I'll be quick because I want to hear from Cleve. Uh, Earth Day celebration in Devendorf Park. Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday from 10 to 2 p.m. Uh, there's going to be a lot of information about local programs, incentives, and how to care for the planet. Um, so go check that out. We're going to have a tree planting ceremony. Uh, put on by Public Works, and there's also going to be uh, lots of fun family activities. Yeah. So it's a good. It's going to be a good day. Weather's looking good, so we're excited about that. And thank you, Jessica, in our Public Works department. She's our administrative analyst or specialist for uh, for putting that whole whole event together. Yeah. And then our, I think one of our our new employees who hasn't started, Mary Bilsey, will be uh, will be in attendance as well, just as a visitor. So welcome, and thank you uh, to everyone who took part in that. And, um, online payments, I just want to remind everybody, we just recently started accepting online payments for all services that you can get through the Community Planning and Building Department. So that's encroachment permits, tree removal, planning permits, building permits. Uh, it's been going really well. It's, it's, uh, it's made it a lot more streamlined for everybody. So uh, we can help you out with that if you need help figuring that out. Um, speaking of the sounds of the season, the forestry, you know, just a reminder, please continue to be patient and uh, and understanding with our, our partners up in forestry. You know, they're still trying to dig out from the storms. I know those feel like maybe they're a long time ago because it's sunny out, but there's still a lot of work to do out there. Um, so be patient, yeah, just, they're, they're just digging out ago. from a backlog, yeah. And the insurance as well. So we've got a, much like your, we don't have our, our, our in-house in insurance, we've got an insurance carrier, and we've got a lot of claims that are with mm -hmm. our insurance carrier. So those are being processed and reviewed, investigated and paid. Yeah. Uh, when necessary. It just so. takes time. Yep. Just takes time. So thank you for the continued patience. And the last thing is a thank you and congratulations. Uh, this week we had the mock city council meeting with the Carmel High School leadership students. Mm -hmm. Second year we've done that. It was fantastic. Yeah. It was really fantastic. Uh, you know, the first year was great. The second year was even better. We're going the right direction. Uh, the, the kids, I don't want to call them the young adults, they were really well prepared. They came and they presented here at the podium. They acted as the the city council, the city administrator. Yeah. Uh, your guy was really sharp dressed. I think he's trying to outdo you maybe. You have my job. Um, yeah, but the, kid, the kids did a wonderful job. The young adults, they did a wonderful job. So congratulations to them. Thank you. Thank you to uh, Graham Robertson and uh, Mayor Ken White for helping connect those dots between the, the high school and the city. Uh, looking forward to doing it again. I know yeah. the other department heads really enjoyed it Yeah, as well. and thank you, Ms. Powers, the teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was recorded, so it should be available. It's on already our, up on our website. Great, yep. wonderful. So, yep. I want to hear from Cleve. Yeah, yeah. What's going Cleve, on, Cleve? Yeah, Cleve, uh, unsung hero of the village. Um, and um, again, thank you for everything that you do to keep the village and our facilities and our properties special. So, why don't you give us a little little taste of what your what your day is typically? I know every day is different. But what, what, what are you working on right now that we're in the spring season preparing for visitors and the, and the like? Oh, great. Well, hello, everyone. Um, it's a pleasure and an honor to work for such an organization. Um, I think it's a privilege to be able to have the opportunity to have a job where I'm actually providing service because it's right up my alley. Mm -hmm. 
um, some of my day-to-day -day things is basically my job is um, I'm responsible for um, about 17 municipal facilities around town, and um, I'm Mr. Keymaster, so I hold all the keys to everything. You, know? you could always hear Cleve coming into a building. <laughs> that, is, that is the truth. It's either my voice or my keys. Uh, or both, yes, right? exactly. <laughs> so anyway, um, my responsibility is to make sure when um, all our staff come into a building, they're able to do what they came there for and not worry about the climate or their door squeaking or their desk wobbling and everything far and in between or whether we need a new roof, all right? Um, some of the things we're working on right now, we're dealing with like, I deal with a lot of very old buildings, historic buildings, so you know, it's not like new track housing where everything's modern, smart thermometers and things like that. So it's always a um, good constant challenge on refining our buildings and um, making sure everything's running right. Um, right now we're dealing with uh, concession stand building at our Sunset Center. We're getting um, a brand new roof put on our storm damaged scene dock um, so we can keep the shows going on for the Forest Theater season. Summer is upon us, so I do things like have all the storm drains um, hydro jetted, all our restroom drains and things like that, our buildings. I give a lot of love to our dear Flanders Mansion. Even though no one's living in there, I have some kind of connection with it, and I make sure that that place does not fall into disrepair. One window gets broken, I'm fixing it right away. So, um, and numerous other things, managing the janitorial contract. Um, and how often are the public restrooms cleaned? So in the off season, we're talking three times a day. In the summertime, four rounds a day, all right? And then they're also on call, and we have um, things put in place for odds and ends. Sometimes I get calls from business owners saying someone's dog made a mess in front of their storefront. I don't encourage, I encourage that um, people try to, you know, take initiative and, Let's work together, but I'm always there. So um, yeah, and like Chip said, it's um, different every day, but that what keeps the job exciting. I'm on my 16th year, mm -hmm. and when I started, we introduced the council to my twin baby boys who were still drooling and couldn't even walk yet. Now they're 16 and taller than me. And they come, your, your boys come, I mean, you've probably seen his, his kids at an event. There's an amazing drum corps that comes and plays. Oh, yeah. And your kids are some of the leaders. Yes, and they'll that. be here every year from now on. They set the tone and yeah. they enjoy it much, very yeah. much so. Yeah, well, we always, I mean, if you ever are having a bad day or even like a half bad day, if Cleve shows up there, it's going to be a good day. I mean, this guy, <laughs> human, always, human ray yeah. of sunshine. Yep, yeah. and you always get a hug at the end of yeah, the conversation. That's right. So right. Right on. It's like Mrs. Cardinale and Cleve. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you for everything you uh, do for us. Yeah, it is my grateful. pleasure. Yeah. I mean, you talk about uh, the city family. Um, you're a, uh, a pillar, and you set a, a real fine example for all of us and the people who are coming into the institution. So thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. I hope you have a thank good weekend. You. Yeah. Oh, yes. Do you want to say to my mom real fast? Hey, Mom. How's all it right. going? <laughs> I got a little grief this morning. Apparently, you guys say hi to her more often we than We do. I yeah, Maxie and good I morning, always make sure, too. So. Yeah. Hey, Mama, yeah. you raised a great son. <laughs> All right, you know how we say goodbye on this thing, right? I'll learn now. Okay, we always say take good care. Okay? Okay. Take good take care. Take good care. Take good care.